If you're going to participate in this dialogue, participate. You don't, you don't have to talk a lot, but if you're going to be actively listening and eavesdropping on the world, you should be open to the fact that they want to eavesdrop on what you have to say. You don't have to say anything that makes you creeped out, but, but don't, go, don't go into the party and then be like, nobody can talk to me because I'm a private person. And especially if you're going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a private person. And what were you saying? <laughs> oh yeah. No me? No, I'm not. <laughs> that's weird, right? No, that's weird. You wouldn't do that. So that's kind of an awkward way to do that. Go ahead. So I was asking somebody who's been tutoring for a while, you know, why do people block their updates? And what he told me is, um, you know, it's a place where if you all of a sudden you go out and you have too many drinks that day, you get on you know, Twitter <laughs> and you don't want your boss to see it the next day. That that is that really the rationale behind it or is, is there more to it? It seems for me it seems like it's always, always people going to move it. And it gives you the option when you set up your account to have it be blocked. And you think, well, privacy, that's good, right? Because it's like Facebook and whatever. But in this environment, I'm talking about work stuff and I'm talking about work stuff fast. And it's like, I don't consider that. I'm like, I'm not having, like, I had a huge fight with my husband last night. I don't think we're going to get divorced. I'm not going to tweet that kind of stuff. Um, and you do see people who uh, tweet drunk. And for the most part, it's funny. And then the next morning, they're like, oh, my God. And sometimes I'll see the tweet the next morning, like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, I got to go back and read those tweets from last night. That's kind of interesting.